it is actually classified as a national security threat right now, the skills gap that we have in our industry. Welcome back to MTDC and see you, my friends. I'm with my buddy Jim. You may recognize this handsome young man for some other videos. Today I have a cool story to share with you. I'm standing in a high school, Pine Bush High School to be specific, and guess what? Jim went to this high school, and if you look behind me, you see CNC machines everywhere, which is the industry that Jim got into as well. But on top of that, this is the only high school that has the Gene Haas credentials to go along with it. And Jim's been a part of this adventure the entire time. So let's get a piece of this knowledge from Jim. Jim, let's talk about this. All right. So yeah, I graduated here from Pine Bush in 1984. Uh, took metal shop, wood shop, and mechanical drawing right here in this same hallway. So. Definitely full circle. I've been in the industry for 35 years now, and uh, real nice to work with uh, the team here and get this show up and running at Pine Bush. So let's talk about, and we don't have to dive too much into what it was like when you were here in 1984, but let's talk about the differences, the growth, and what that means to you as a alumni of this school. Right, so, um, the shops are set up just like they were back then. We got wood shop across the hall, metal shop here, uh, CAD room down the hall. Back in the day, everything was manual. There was no CNC, right? So this was our metal shop. We had bridge ports and saws and things like that. Um, by 1990, I think all of that was gone, and this was a storage room. Wow. And that's why we've got this skills gap now, right? Because the schools stopped teaching this at the young age. And Pine Bush, about 10 years ago, started bringing this stuff back in with the hot Gene Haas Center and CNC. And now they've got a great program that's getting people ready for manufacturing right at the high school level. This warms my heart, honestly, because you gave a great message. And we've all seen it. And it's what we're battling right now, isn't it? When we're talking about the workforce being limited right now and the, the pursuit of automation, it's due to what you just mentioned in the 90s, a lot of machine shops turned into gyms for the sporting, t sporting events. It turned into storage rooms, as you mentioned. So bringing this all full circle, knowing you had it, knowing it was lost, knowing working with Aaron Hopper here at Pine Bush and seeing, I'm standing in front of three great CNC machines right now. What does that mean to you coming back and supporting this? Ah, uh, this is great, you know, and, and anytime we're gonna be looking for new employees at Allendale, we're looking to Pine Bush, as are a lot of our other customers right here in the area. There's plenty of industry, and uh, it's really great to see this program turning out kids that are ready to work right out of the door. And everyone out there watching right now, we want to share this story. Jim wants to share this story. I want to share this story to inspire more of you to invest in these kids when it comes to manufacturing and engineering. Implement these procedures in your school. We need more people in this industry. Join Jim, myself, MTD, Hop, Pine Bush in growing your manufacturing facilities at your high school level because people like Pine Bush are putting kids straight into the workforce right away and fantastic careers. Thank you all for watching and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you.